Hi guys, this is the top model from the Skorhoi factory, the C201 desktop model. And this one is based on much of the design you already know from the C101, which is a rack unit. So the form factor is radically different between those two units. And because it's now a desktop unit, we have a much larger surface to put buttons on. We can also include some more functionality, which we did. And this is why it's called the TXS controller, because it has a T, but it has extra buttons and it has two smart switches. Okay, so as I said, it's based on the C101 design. So much of what you see here is already expected. We have the program bus. It selects the program directly. You can see here on the multi-viewer. We have a preview bus. You can select what goes on preview. No surprise. We have the T bar. You can make a nice fade transition between the two. You have seen it all. And the auto button, cut button, we have the user keys and the user keys is already known from the C101. So this is one of the concepts that we have transported into this unit. And then you have directly access to enabling your downstream key one and two. And this is what we picked to put right here. You can program it differently if you like. Now we have the menu and if you haven't seen the menu, I'll just briefly take you through it. Done. Okay. Now, you can, of course, have the menu uh, demonstrated uh, in much more detail, but watch the 101 video instead because it's exactly the same inside. Now let's get on to the really interesting and different part on this particular unit. We have the extra keys up here. And the extra keys can be programmed to whatever functionality you like. And this is the point. We have even constructed the software around it in a way so we believe it's, it's relatively easy for you to customize each functionality of these buttons. So this is a default suggestion for what we can put there. And the one is that we can press the bars button. And if we press bars, guess what? On preview, we get the color bars, okay? We have also one called call one, and that gives us the color generator one. We don't have color generator two on this one because we believe that we would have to, to prioritize here. And this is our, our suggestion that now you have at least access to one of the color generators. You have a Kia one and Kia two, which will enable the uh, um, upstream Kias. And we can just do that quickly. You see that on upstream Kia one, we have um, a picture in picture functionality and on upstream Kia two, we have a name tag functionality. So let's just disable those, but notice the Picture-in-picture -picture functionality is enabled with a, just a cut transition here. We have a button called Picture-in-Picture, -picture, and as you might have seen in some of our other videos, we prefer to fade the Picture-in-Picture -picture into the image and fade it out again. And that is essentially a macro of five actions in the ASIM switcher. So when I press this, you see it fades in and out, fades in and fades out. We have the fade to black functionality as well, fade to black. And then if we press media one, guess what happens? Now we can select the media in media bank one from the program select row. All right. So to see this happening, you, you may like to, um, to see the uh, media bank and I'll now demonstrate it to you because I have my laptop here, which I can display in the background here and I'll do that just quickly by selecting my laptop for the background and I did that from the switcher which I'll show you in a moment but let's go back to selecting media one so you can see right now it it's uh, we have um, media one is now on two we have media one on three media one on four media one on five and back to one as I press right here we can select media eight and you cannot select the rest of them by these buttons, obviously. And the same for media two. Media two is now in, on one, and we could select media six, which is the Skorhoi logo right there. Good, so um, let's leave that functionality or go back to media one. Let's say that we enable the name tag, which was on upstream key two, and uh, we could now select the name tag that we like, which is on three, and the name tag goes there and we can cut it out again. All right, so that was the extra keys and stuff you can put up there. It's customizable, you can program it differently. And now let's go to the smart switches. 
and I'm gonna turn the unit so that you can see what is shown on the smart switches. The first one determines how the program select bus buttons right here, what they are actually selecting. And right now it says a media one, so it's yellow and it shows also media one in the display. If I press it just once, you can see it goes back to PTM and it means that now it's operating in the normal program mode. If I press it again, are you ready? It says now auxiliary one and it means that this bus will select auxiliary one output. And that's the magic I did just before because this is auxiliary one output from the ATEM switcher and I just went into that menu, selected two, which is the output from my computer. And as you can see, we could go through all the inputs that we have available and they'll display on auxiliary one output. As I press again and again, you can see that it's, it goes on to auxiliary two, auxiliary three, and then it goes back to program again. So it basically cycles through four uh, different opportunities for what the program select bus will do. Enough of that, I think you get it. This one will select another thing related to picture in picture. So let's just enable picture in picture. And you can see here it is again in our multi viewer. So we have picture in picture on the left side. And does that correspond with this graphics? Yes, it does. So it actually shows where the picture in picture will be. And if I press it, guess what happens? It now changes the picture in picture to the right side and the button displays that is now on the right side. So the really cool thing about the smart switches is that you can change the graphics on the button so it always communicates clearly to the user what the functionality of the button or, or what feature is currently enabled. We believe smart switches are awesome. They are so cool and we like to integrate them on much, uh, many more of our products. And this is the first try, so I hope you like it. So this is the C200, C201 desktop controller. It's the top of the line model and we love it, we hope you do too.